All right, guys, welcome, welcome to the Noble Ellis Show. I got a new speaker. I hope you can hear me today. All right, you guys, I have five minutes and 42 seconds to record, however, on Bandicam. I don't know why. You can join us on our new website. I'll put that in the description below. You can join our email group. You can go to Noble L. Uh, you can email us to join our email group at themullingsatgmail.com where we share information with you as guided when we get it instantly. All right, you can join our online tutor school class. We're up to 13 assignments, and you can watch us on our two YouTube channels, Noble L and Noble L. The second, like, share, subscribe, you guys. For those of you in need of a private consultation or those of you who want to share, you can email us at themullingsatgmail.com. You can also write to us for the GSA bond templates to set off matters. Um, and also the 1099 OID to get back the finances they claimed you owed on things such as child support cases, mortgages, foreclosures, tickets, citations, auto loans, student loans, loans, warrants. And for those of you having to see an agent doing business as a parole officer, you can email us. And also those of you in the churches doing business as jails, for non-bond offenses, you can email us at themullingsatgmail.com to get the GSA bond templates and so much more we share with you guys. You guys are shocked when you get the stuff from us. And also for the 1099 OID to get back the finances they claimed you owed. Um, they tell us it's $2 million per charge. We did not get back that much. We did get back something significant and stuff. To this day, we're still grateful for also, we ask you to please, please, please continue to support us here. You can go and um, support us on PayPal at themullies at gmail.com. And now I want to get started. I've got, what, a couple minutes left, you guys, so I'm going to make this one short and sweet. Happy New Year to all the Moors out there. Um, it's our New Year uh, tomorrow, um, so we want to say Happy New Year to all of you guys. Um, you guys make your affirmations and, um, yes, yeah, start thinking your life into existence, right? Now there's a bunch of stuff that was sent to us. I'm hoping I have enough time to read all of it. And I did want to touch on some of the stuff in the comment section. I don't know about um, where to go in terms of, people were asking in the comment section, there's been reports that there's been revaluations. They said they were gonna send you guys an email with information, so just keep checking your email. Um, once we get the information, we'll put it out there clearly so people will know where to go to do their exchanges, right? I want to thank Keith Aldent, who sent us a really great comment in the video he made, Psalms 82.6, ye are gods, put God first, and all good things will come after, peace to the gods. All right, so he sent us a bunch of scriptures. I don't have enough time to read the entire thing, so you guys can look at this in the description on that video. However, he sent us a bunch of scriptures that all correlated with the doctrine of 666. The scriptures are Psalm 66.6. You guys can go and read it. I'm going to put them in the description below. He also sent us John 6.66 6, um, and Psalms 66.6 and also, also Ephesians and, oh, Jeremiah 5.1, right? So I wanted to read that. And then he sent us this amazing public document here. Let me see if I'll be able to get it. Um, hang on. No, come on, let's see, what can we do here? Um, hang on, let's see if I'll be able to read it. It was a for public use example of instrument um, for public performance declaration. You guys remember to wear some polka dots, start thinking your life into existence. We had a little dinner here, not much. Thank you to the powers that be. We had a, a couple of days that were kind of like unbelievable, you guys. So. Um, we just want to say thank you to the powers that be. If this thing would just allow me to read this, that'd be really helpful instead of interfering with this constantly. I declare first off for Declaration of Naturalization Act of 1771. I declare, uh, let's see, and it's going without me. Let's see. I declare first off for right of subrogation. I have like one minute left for redemption. Enable us to obtain our credit back on the 1040 1099 OID. 1096 and 1040 Z forms contract law or treasury. Keith, if you can send this to me in a regular email, that'd be really helpful so I can read it because I'm running out of time. You guys like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Email this to me, not in this format because it's difficult to share or to read it with anyone because I don't have enough time left, right? 
peace to the gods, you guys. Remember, happy new year, happy new year to all the Moors. Um, breathe, think your life into existence, party hard, and meditate on, visualize what you want to see manifest over the next coming year, because it's been a year and a half over here, watching all this crap go down. So just breathe and think your life into existence. Peace to the God. Remember, faith without works is dead. Put God first and all good things will come after. Um, then we have uh, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. It is a law, Matthew 7, 12. And peace to the God, year, year God, Psalms 82, 6. And put God first and all good things will come after. Faith without works is dead. And let your light so shine before men so they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. I'll put the links to everything I just talked about in the description below. Happy New Year, Moors. Happy New Year. We've lived to see another year by the grace of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I look, I've got a couple more minutes. Amazing. Last time it stopped right at 5.40.57. How come I get more time today? Maybe I can read those two scriptures. Let me see if I can read those two scriptures. Because I'm still going, you guys. i got time. Hold on. Let's see if we can just read. I wanted to read this public affidavit so badly. Account must be kept in zero. Okay. It says, I first declare, um, I declare first offer right of sub subrogation. Stop, computer. Um, enable us to obtain our credit back on the 1040, 1099, OID, 1096, 1040Z, forms, contract law, our Treasury Direct, international authorities do this for all of us now. That was made disabled by the so-called entities claiming to be you know what. Account must be kept at zero. Um, this is why you keep the, um, this is why you the bookkeepers for, this is why you, the bookkeepers for our full credit, full faith and credit as trusted fiduciary agent appointed by the clerk of the court to file, I'm still out of time, court to file our taxes, HJR 192, our remedy using the Federal Reserve Banking System Circular 230 regulation. To establish the declaration, um, can I scroll down, God, is that a possibility? Let's see. Um, to establish the declaration is valid, true, correct, and complete as written in all jurisdictions of law, air, land, and sea, um, or C Genesis 1, 26, 30. So authorized by, signed, and sealed this day, um, a day of, I guess it's uh, March in the year of 2021 of our Lord as a signee. And then he has his name. You'd have your name, Noble L, whatever, or whatever your name is. Descendant, he is Keith Bernard there, descendant of the descendant, decedent entitlements by right of secession, Mr. Aldent by for living heir, returning from abroad, UCC 1-308, all rights reserved under authorization, HDR 192, 1933, circular 230, regulation, who can practice taxpayer ethics, taxpayer ethics in parentheses, in quotations, right? All due, and this is number six, all due process, recourse, and remedy. I'm ask, I'm as king, asking as king, do. Number seven, now declare and decree by the king as, as king, with prejudice in first and substance. I now come with all prejudice, so you put your name there, right, as king. Rubenite tribe chief, American Indian, Lodi Talamorish, American National. With all prejudice circular, 20, 230 tax code, 11 U.S.C., 50 U.S.C.A., and then it says um, 18 U.S.C.A., 42 U.S.C.A., 1602. I haven't researched those ones yet. You guys can go and look those up before you do this. Findings and declarations and of purpose that, in fact, I am the owner and operator of my vessels, of all vessels, um, using the name that um, was placed on the birth certificate, on earth from the, that my mother and my father gave to me, on earth from the moment my zygote, Z-Y-G-O-T-E, first formed together with all DNA and all substance matter um, in any way associated with me and my incarnation. Number nine, by manifested and presented uh, proof of authorization as signed, I first declare that I as signer accept by divine origin, original e state, all honor, right, entitlement. And thank you to the people that sold this to me, this 
microphone I'm using. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And material interest, I am owed 1604. Immunity of a foreign state from jurisdiction subject to pre precedents offered to the decedent existing through this international authorities for all um, good people on the planet. If there's something that's owed to us, send it to us, use this if necessary. To the decedent existing international agreements to which the United States is a party at the same of the enactment of enactment, E-N-A-C-T-M-E-N-T of this act, um, of comma, this act, comma, a foreign state shall be. Number 11, immune from the jurisdiction of the courts of the United States and of, of the states, except as provided in sections 1605 to 1607. Um, number 12, I declare my political status as an American Indian, Moorish American national, um, a Native uh, American, Aboriginal, uh, the original indigenous people on the planet for us here. He says, natural organic uh, birth within the physical state, within um, a Michigan state, I guess he's from, borders on the North American continent. So he writes, he declares that his political status is an American state, national born, national organic birth within the physical state, within Michigan state borders on the North American continent. Number 13, I declare under penalty of perjury uh, for the public law, he declares under penalty of perjury for the public law of the United States of the Americans from without the United States and without the United States territories, we the people in small um, common W, we, um, small T-H-E, and then people, capital P, and then small letters after that, E-O-P-L-E, in um, uh, quotations, that I reject, renounce, and remove all powers of attorney granted by me or issued under my name. I already did this um, thing, you guys have that on the record, where I denounced the powers of attorney and sent it over to the Belleville, Ontario um, recorder of deeds over there, so you'll see it on the record. Um, they were reluctant to file it, but that's already done. It's a number of pages long, so you can utilize that one for us here. And then this goes on, it goes up to, um, it's a long document, let's see how many pages. We're up to page eight, right? So you're gonna have to send this to us so we can uh, read it or uh, put it out there, maybe on um, my other Offsprings channel, maybe you can read it in its entirety or we'll be able to share it somehow. So send it to us, John six. 66, uh, King James Version. For the first time, many of his disciples uh, went back and walked no more with John. John, 60, John 6, 66, NSAB. As a result of this, um, many of the, his disciples left and would no longer walk with him. Okay, so that's the King James Version. Then he gave us Jeremiah 5, 1, or 51. I think it was 5, 1. Uh, I think that's five, and then first one, yeah, this one here, hang on, it says, go up and down the streets of Jerusalem, look around and consider a search through the squares if you could find but one person who deals honestly and seeks him, seeks the truth, I will forgive this city, although they say as surely as the Lord lives, Still, they are swearing falsely, right? And then Isaiah now, 66, um, chapter 66, verse 6. Hear the uproar from the city. Listen to the voice, the sound of the Lord, Lord rendering recompense uh, to his enemies. Hear the uproar from the city. Listen to the voice from the temple. Um, it is the voice of the Lord. And then he gave us, I think it was Acts 5. And I read that, was it Acts 5? It's in this email, I read that, which was about this couple that sold this land and they brought what they thought or what they wanted to God. And of course, God knew that it was sold for more, long story short, I think it was the husband first that said the first lie. And then he was taken out by the spirit. Um, his um, Holy Ghost left him. And then it was his wife um, she was accosted, and then she 
her spirit left her body. So I thought it was interesting. It was, I guess, um, a scripture about don't cheat God, right? So um, I was thinking about the scripture, um, people perish for people perish for lack of lo knowledge. But I was really thinking about um, the love of money is the root of all evil. I was thinking about that for the longest while. And then I also wanted to show you guys what was going on today over here because I wanted you to see something. And I wanted to read some of the comments in the comment section as well. I don't know if I'll get it. I'm still going. I hope I'm still going for real. Um, but I'm really grateful. So let's see what we get out of here today. So you guys remember, this is this is the, um, yeah, hallelujah day, right? We Hopefully the Jubilee will kick in. Like, I don't even know. Like, now would be great. Um, all right, let me see. Let me scroll down to the stuff that seems to make some sort of sense. Okay. All right. They're saying special military forces have been called into Florida for admission um, on Friday, March the 19th. JFK Jr. telegrammed that he had been sworn in as US VP to the president, um, to President Trump. He and Charlie Ward were both at Mar-a-Lago, Florida, where President Trump resided, and where Air Force One was stationed at a nearby airport. The AP was reporting that Mar-a-Lago was on a temporary, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that one alone. Um, let's see if there's anything else good in here we can read for this uh, New Year's Eve. Um, let's see. Yes. Okay. The Chinese elders were composed of different multi generational Chinese families living in the Philippines who, over centuries, owned and held the responsibility for over 90% of the world's gold, lending it out to countries for established men of their financial systems. There were five top Chinese elders who were responsible for this reset. In 1914, okay, I'm not going to go there because it's like heavy stuff, right? You guys can read that on your own. All right, and then we talk about all that wonderful stuff there. We're going to leave that alone. Um, today it was reported, I was listening to Scott McKay, and he was interviewing this man that was reporting that T.D. Jakes. Apparently a lot of these evangelists also got paid. So you guys be conscious. You have to discern the spirit when you see these agents that we were told by our grand sheik many moons ago. A lot of these entities had sold out. And I've been paid off to do a lot of stuff, right? So remember I reported when they showed that Tyler Perry had taken the, the so-called injectables. And here was T.D. Jakes encouraging people to take the injectables. Now other people are reporting to us internationally that their um, loved ones were subjected to the injectables and some of them are shaking profusely. So just be mindful of what's going on, you guys, all right? Um, <clears throat> the alliance or White Hats was composed of President Trump, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Chinese President, Iraqi Prime Minister, India Prime Minister, White Hats um, in the Department of Defense headed by Secretary of Defense Chris Miller, Under Secretary of Defense Inter Ezra Cohen and Michael T. Flynn. Um, and then you have composed of over 800 special ops who advised President Trump, including the Pentagon General's Chairman, Joint Chief of Staff, Mark Milley, Vice Chief, John Hyten, General James McConville, Admiral Michael Gilday, Gilday General C.Q. Brown, General Paul, and then it goes on, right? And then all of the um, great um, people online that write to him all the time and tell him how great he's doing and how great he's looking today. All right, so you got the BRICS um, was an alliance of the nations of Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa formed in 2008 after the so-called 
us mortgage prices in reality the crisis happened when these agents continued to print the us dollar while being under the so called bankruptcy unable to even pay interest on the gold board from the chinese elders elders which backed that us dollar the basis for international trade in the ensuing years since BRICS formed, they evaluated gold and resources of 209 nations. You guys can read the rest of that. I'll put the link in the description below. And then Charlie Ward had worked had, and has worked and has been friends with these Chinese elders for over 15 years. He was highly trusted in the financial world and moved money around the globe for private clients ranging from the super rich to different global governments. His team moved 650 plane loads of gold out of the Vatican tunnels and placed it back into its right, placed it back to its rightful owners at the U.S. Treasury and other countries' treasuries around the globe. He was presently moving money's gold and valuables for countries and individuals in the reset. A, a lot of Ward's info came from what he called the four walls of power, which included the Chinese Elders Alliance, Trump White House, Trump Redemption Team. He has been under a non-disclosure agreement for the last several months and told what he could and could not reveal. You guys can go and read the rest of that, right? Now, let me just scroll down real quick, see if there's anything else I wanted to touch on before I come off this page. Because sometimes as soon as you come off and you scroll down, you say, oh, I wish I'd read that part. Uh, let's see. Mm. Oh, they're saying what you need to bring to the appointment. Mm. Yeah, some people don't use driver's license, passports, and all that stuff. So you've got to have other stuff for other um, people and what they use. You guys got to be mindful of that international authority. So, all right. So that's pretty much there. And then I wanted to read the comment in the comment section. Let's see if we can go over here. All right. Notifications. Okay, Patricia says, um, new to your channel, I have uh, so many questions. Number one, do you take, um, yeah, we don't know exactly yet. So once we get the information, we'll share that with you guys. Um, somebody said, Anna Van Wright's is authentication. Um, no, she was just saying that authentication is, is better than a post deal because some countries have not signed on to the Hague for their birth certificate to get it authenticated, um, especially those that are traveling. Find out in your areas what's um, acceptable and what works and what doesn't work. Um, blessings, dear sister, you have been working so hard. Thank you. Uh, Tammy Crimes, Alberto Martino said, Martinez says um, he has an international non-UCC. I have, um, he's got, he's just, oh, he mailed it to himself, registered mail, okay. I, I don't, I'm not sure about that one. You can um, see how, what, yeah, we'll just try and see what happens. Uh, breaking news, Ken McGuire was saying that he didn't see anything on the military news. Some stuff you guys know, they'll put out some stuff they won't, so you guys can go and read and listen to what we put out yesterday. You have to use headphones with the video we made yesterday. We didn't realize how poor quality it was in terms of the sound. So you must, must use headphones in that video. Um, please, yeah, here Thomas Longley says, please turn up your volume. Um, Han, thank you, yeah, we're, we're working on it all day today, so I hope you can hear us better today. JL says, hello. Um, my, how are you doing? Um, good to see you, good to see you too, JL. Thank you for sharing God's blessings upon you. God's blessing of blessings upon you too, JL. Now, um, Pedro, uh, um, 
Oh, he was he was talking about the lien that the judges had put on the agents doing business as governors. Now we know that um, that lien stuck. So a lot of what we're seeing play out currently, they're kind of done-ish. And so they had a playbook. And um, what we had heard was, had Donald Trump pulled the plug on everything that they had scripted, people wouldn't have believed him. So he had to let some of it play out for people to see how corrupt. And it's the first time since I've been here, um, I've actually heard clearly people now saying how corrupt the agents are here that are in power. You used to hear them talking about the Babylonian system a lot. Now you actually hear conscious people here aware of what's going on saying that, yes, they're really corrupt and look at what they're doing and stuff. Because they're talk, some of them are talking about taking the injectables after the people take them and paying some of the older people 10,000 notes to take them. Who in their right mind is going to do that? You're getting paid to basically take out yourself, right? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to read that, and I'm just really grateful that we were able to go on for 20 minutes. I really thought it was going to be a five-minute long session. I was prepared to just talk really fast and get off. So like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day, and remember... Faith without works is dead. Put God first and all good things will come after. Who's the God? You are. Psalms 82, 6. Peace to the gods, right? And just make sure you're doing right usefulness, righteousness all day, every day. And um, yeah, I want to put a hedge of protection around all that is good globally. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. The Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines, Michael Flynn, Michael Flynn, Michael Flynn. And all the good people trying to help us get free. And all the ones that are not so good this time, because... God's taking care of them, right? So remember, you guys, please, please, please remember to support us here. Thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support to us here so that we can continue. Happy New Year, everyone. Remember to breathe, think, meditate your life into existence. Go get some polka dots, put it on. For what, people? Prosperity and abundance. It is that simple. And then Jonah Bay says to do some affirmations. So you can do that too, right? And start to call things into being as if though they were, right? Call things into being as if though they were. And start to see your life manifest. Let go of emotions. Don't get caught up in an emotional world. Let it go. Move on. Focus on what you have to get done. And I'm just going to pray for that um, someone that sent us an email today about their loved one. That they'll be healed and free this night. I sure subscribe, you guys. It's been a pleasure serving you guys for the past couple of years on YouTube. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll continue. So um, yeah, God willing, God spare life. Have a great night and have a great day. Happy New Year to everyone out there.